Right, in this video I'll be showing you a rather handy tool for tweaking these settings in Ubuntu. It's called the Unity Tweak Tool and you can get it from the Software Center in Ubuntu 13.04. Unfortunately you can't get it for the older versions of Ubuntu, it's only 13.04 and hopefully onwards though. Hopefully they'll continue to make this tool because it does look pretty good. Unlike the Compiz Config Settings Manager which comes with a lot of health and safety warnings, this one doesn't and it seems to be perfectly safe to use. At least I hope it is. I'll take a look through some of the settings you can change in the Unity Tweak tool. So starting with the Unity settings, in the launcher, you can change the behaviour of auto-hiding, uh, transparency, unfortunately transparency doesn't seem to make a difference at the moment. There it is off. And there it is on. Um, yeah, I can't see the difference either. You can change the colour though, um, base it on the wallpaper or base it on any colour you would like. I'm going to keep with it based on wallpaper. Seems to work alright there. Got the icon behaviour, the icon size. That's pretty good, depending on your size of monitor you might want to change the icon size. And the icon backgrounds here. You can see them changing there, open applications only, coloured edges. See, they look good. On the searcher, yeah that doesn't make a difference at the moment. I think there must be a bug in for that one. Panel, I see transparency at the top there, on and off. You've got the settings on the indicators. Disabling the Bluetooth menu, disabling the power menu, volume control, and change the option on showing your name. Switcher, oh yeah, variety of settings there. Web apps, yeah, not much. And the behavior on the heads up display. The window manager. There's a couple of the Compiz settings you can change here. But I'm going to leave those well alone because it just seems to slow things down in the virtual box. Workspace switcher. Switch it on and off. Window spread, yep. Window snapping. Ah, now here's a good one. So if I want to say the right top right corner, let's grab Firefox here to demo this one out. So the default behaviour when you push it across to the side is it'll take up half the screen. Now if you push it to the top corner, haha, -ha, quarter of the screen. That's a bit more like the behaviour in KDE. Yep, hot corners and hmm, some other settings there. Appearance, you can change the themes, the icons, the cursor, and I wish they had fixed the bug in the cursor. As you'll see it's not changed to the black cursor. Oh wait, it has. No, it hasn't. Yes, it oh, yeah. I've got a couple of videos on my channel how you can actually change that, but you have to enter a command line to get the setting to take effect all round. Mm -hmm. Fonts, yeah, window controls. Cool. And lastly, system settings. Icons on the desktop. Mm. You could add a few things on here. I, I like the desktop clean now. Don't want anything on there. Security. Enhance system security by disabling <laughs> all of those. Yep. I'm trying this one out to disable the desktop lock screen. Yeah, why not? It's annoying. You can change the behavior of the scroll bars and touch scrolling. So there you go. Quite a variety of settings you can change from the Unity Tweak Tool, all safely without the health and warning of the Compass Config Settings Manager. So thanks for watching. See you later.